Hello. In today's video, we will be going over EMP Mobile. This will cover installing the app, required hardware, and utilizing the app. To install EMP Mobile, navigate to your phone's app store, type in EMP Mobile, and then download the EMP Mobile app. Required hardware to use EMP Mobile is a data link adapter with Bluetooth capabilities. This could be either your Shop RP1210 data link adapter or the Nexic Blue Link Mini or Inline, Inline Mini. These can be purchased from a Nexic distributor. To pair these with your phone, follow the data link adapter instructions. Once you have the data link adapter paired with your phone, the first time you open EMP Mobile, we're going to navigate to the settings and then click Diagnostic Adapter and then select the DLA that you're going to be using to make the connection. Once you select it, it's going to show you the available adapters and you'll click on it. Once the selection is made, the selection will be remembered. This process will only need to be conducted again as if you change your RP1210 data link adapter device. To establish communication, we're going to hit the connect button. It will then establish communication with the controller of the system. The first one that's going to appear is the diagnostics tab. If there's any active fault codes, it will be listed below. It'll show you the fault code number. It'll give you a brief description of that code, the status of the code, the counts of that code, how many times it's been active, and the active hours, how long that code has been active for. You have the option to clear codes. Note this will only clear inactive codes. If you have active codes, they will remain. And you can also disconnect from the system entirely. More information on the diagnostics window. If you want more detailed information about a specific fault code, click on it. It's going to bring you over to the submenus of the diagnostic tab. Here it will give you the full description of the fault code and then give you troubleshooting steps. You can also move over to one screen to the right, which will bring you to the analysis portion of it, which will give you in-depth information about the times, the time since it was last occurred, time since it was first occurred, how many counts, and the percentage of time active. Now if you're done looking at the detailed information on diagnostics windows, to go back, just click on the diagnostic tabs here. You will also be able to gather history downloads utilizing EMP Mobile. To do that, it's going to be on the window to the right of the diagnostics tab. To the right, you'll see you'll be in the history window. To create a new download, click the new download button down at the bottom. It will then open up the new download pane where it will input the vehicle ID, the site or location of where you're taking the download from, and your username. Then you'll hit save and then give it a few minutes to capture all the history from the system controller. Once that history file is saved, it will appear here in the history window where you can then upload it directly to EMP. The information page will be two windows to the right of the diagnostic tab. This will give you information of the serial number of the TMC, the software calibration that's programmed into the TMC, the control platform, which the control platforms refers to the hardware and software configuration of the system, and then you'll also have a digital display of the system on that vehicle and it'll show you the numbering and locations of each fan on that system. If you have additional questions or need additional help, feel free to email us at service at emp-corp.com.